Coming out to myself was a long drawn out teenage thing. Um, it, was, it was pretty tortuous really and I was resisting it for quite a while and then suddenly I just let go and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. My parents, that was one I had said to myself, I'm gonna tell them by Christmas this year. <laughs> and at three o'clock on Christmas afternoon, I still hadn't done it. So that was, I was like, okay, it's gonna be now. And the whole family was there. So I did a kind of, hey guys, I've got something to tell you. And it went very well, actually. I mean, there was a lot of discussion and there was some angst on the part of my parents about a whole lot of different things. The key thing about coming out is, it's not so much an event, it's a process. My one would be very subtly dropping into the conversation. My boyfriend and I went to see the James Bond movie last weekend, have you seen it? You know, and then there will be a little flicker of, 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 of did he just say my boyfriend and I? But they'll take their cue from you. If you're casual about it, they will be more casual about it. And in the end, the best thing is if you can just be yourself and not be anything that you're not. I just can't stress enough trying to be something that you're not or, or hiding gaping great bits of your life from your colleagues at work. It's just tiring. I've been there and it's just, it's just not worth it if you, can, if you can avoid it. So my, my experience was in my sort of earliest jobs, it wasn't that I wanted to lie to people and it certainly wasn't that I was embarrassed about being gay, but I just wasn't public about it. So I tried, I tried never to lie, but equally it was just constantly thinking about what you were saying and, and treading on eggshells. And, and I, I think it was a terrible mistake and it was, it, it was hard work. The issue of mental health, good mental health and being authentic and true and comfortable with yourself are inextricably linked. So I think it's much easier to have, if you like, a sound, comfortable mind when you are one person and you know what that person is and you're comfortable with it. Every night I'm on TV, I, I, I am terrified, basically. Um, there are those kind of short-term stresses. And I think the best approach to those is to kind of say, hey, short-term stress, I'm gonna just ride with you and I'm not gonna let you defeat me. The harder ones are the more chronic stresses, the long-term stresses, and there'll be feelings of loneliness or discontent or, or dissatisfaction or something even more chemical in the brain that's causing, causing problems. And I, I think in some ways those are more difficult and those ones you need to, you know, basically to get help, to talk either to friends or counsellors or professional help. But I think the best advice is to try and just ride the ups and downs um, and to realise that, you know, you're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days and not to let the bad days get you down too much. So disclosure is more than just a gay thing. And the principle is, I am what I am and I want you to know what I am uh, and I want you to be comfortable with that and to, to accept me for that. I love student pride. It's really important that we sit down as a community together. We just swap stories, talk about issues. So you're taking a journey when you come out. And I think the more that we can have made that path a well-trodden path, the better it is for everybody. If you can see that other people have made that journey, trodden that path, and there it is, it's much, much easier. And there are a million different coming out experiences. So the more we can share our own, and the more people who are about to embark on that journey can sort of read some of the other experiences that people have taken, the journeys they've taken, I think the, the, the better it is.